Join the party. Have a hearty glass. Hey everybody, it's Adam Crow. Today I'm gonna share my recipe for my simple tomato sauce. It takes less than an hour. You can serve it with pasta, your lasagna, chicken, eggplant, almost anything. And it's pretty simple and it's really impressive and it kind of feels special to make a tomato sauce yourself. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is chop up a medium-sized onion and we're gonna saute that in our Dutch oven or like a soup pot. I'm gonna chop up a medium-sized onion pretty coarsely. Um, I like my sauce kind of chunky and it's kind of more rustic and homemade. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter. You want to use unsalted butter always because it allows you to control the amount of salt that you're putting into the food, so you're in control of the flavor. And some people might use olive oil, but um, I find in such a delicate sauce that olive oil with the onions can be a little bit bitter, so I hold off on the olive oil until the very end of the sauce. So here's my two tablespoons of butter, and I'm gonna stick it in my pan on medium heat. So my butter is almost melted, so I'm gonna take my onion, which I chopped up pretty coarse, because I like the sauce to be a little bit chunky, and I'm just gonna toss it right in the pan. And then stir it around. Give it a toss, and I really don't want it to be too sizzling, so I'm going to turn my onion oven down just a little bit. And what you want here really is to kind of almost poach the onions. You don't want them fried. Um, you want to soften them up and release a lot of the sugar that's going to balance the acidity and all the tomatoes that you're going to use. Okay, now while my onions are cooking in the pan, I'm going to toss in three quarters of a tablespoon of dried oregano. And I'm heating it up with the onions just so it starts to release a lot of the flavors and stuff like that. And after I've added the oregano, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of white sugar. The purpose of the sugar is to A, help the onions uh, caramelize a little bit, and also to balance out, again, the acidity that's going to be in the tomato sauce later, so you have a really balanced flavored sauce. Um, so now I'm just going to stir this around a little bit. and we're gonna cover it so all the moisture stays inside um, of the pan. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit because it seems it's like a little hot. And I'm gonna let that go for about 10 to 15 minutes until the onions are golden brown. Okay, now that my onions are golden brown, I'm gonna stir in one six ounce can of tomato paste. Tomato paste is just concentrated tomato. It's a flavor bomb, pretty much, that you just toss in there. You're going to stir it around, let it cook for about three minutes until it's incorporated with the oregano and the onions and the butter, and then we're going to move on. Okay, now that my tomato paste has cooked for about three minutes and it's working with the onions and it's starting to brown a little bit, I'm going to add uh, three cloves of minced fresh garlic into the pan and um, half of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. That's going to cook for about 15 seconds. Uh, you really just want the garlic to start to smell. Uh, you don't want it to burn because it becomes very bitter. So I'm going to stir it around. And I can already smell that garlic. So, next thing I'm going to do is add half of a cup of red wine. Um, doesn't really matter which red wine you use. Um, you want to stay away from cooking wine uh, because it's nasty. Uh, but anything you would drink generally is good to use in a sauce like this. So I'm going to use half of a cup. Okay, so my red wine has been simmering for about three minutes. So what I'm gonna do is add two cans of crushed tomatoes. Um, if you can find tomatoes from San Marzano, it's not a brand, it's a place in Italy. It's re they're really the best tomatoes that you can find and best for sauces like this. So I'm gonna add them right into the pan. I'm gonna get it. Now that I've added my crushed tomatoes, I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper. And I'm going to stir this in and I'm going to let my sauce simmer on medium heat for about 20 minutes. If it starts to boil, lower the heat just a little bit. Uh, you want it to get hot but not too, too hot. 
My sauce has been simmering for about 20 minutes. Uh, it smells awesome. And at this point, I'm ready to add my last few ingredients. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of really good extra virgin olive oil. And finally, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of chopped basil and a tablespoon of chopped flat leaf parsley. It really adds kind of a freshness and a brightness to the dish. Pretty awesome. Once you add the basil and parsley, you can pour your sauce over your favorite pasta, use it in a lasagna, or maybe you want some chicken. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And finish it off with a little basil. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This recipe is available on my website, adamcrowcatering.com. And you can also look for future episodes of my cooking show, Cook with Adam. Thanks so much. Come on, join the party. Have a hearty glass of rum.